Now, comma, we need to find the number of characters. Now I'm going to write this out and explain it as I go along, but it's going to be a little tricky. So we want to use, so we want to find, open parentheses, and we're only going to find the space, so quote, space, end quote, comma, within this cell for text here, comma, now here is where we do the start number. And for the start number, we're going to use another find function. So find, open parentheses, quote, space, quote, comma, within this cell, close parentheses, plus one close parentheses. Now what this is saying is we're looking, remember, for the number of characters of the middle name. And this says that we want to find a space in cell A9, but we're going to start looking for that space after we have already found a space. So this is actually what goes first here. This means we're going to find the first space so after John, we find that space, then we want to add one. So we're getting to the R in Robert, the first letter of the middle name. And from this character position, we want to find the next space in that cell. So that's what this does. This allows you to find the second space in that cell. And so after you've found that, what you're going to want to do is minus 1, and that's to get rid of the extra space counted, then minus find open parentheses quote space end quote comma the cell you want the text from close parentheses close parentheses then hit enter and it gives you Robert so a very long and confusing formula just to get a middle name. Let's just go ahead and make sure it works. And we'll see that if you add any letters here, it's going to be updated correctly there. Now I'm going to go over it again and explain how it works because once you understand this, you can do any of the other formulas very easily. So you've got the mid function, searching in cell A9, and you want to start after the first space in the text. That's what that means. Now here, what we're trying to accomplish right here is to find how many characters from the left the second space is. So you want to find a space that's here that starts after the first space and so we're going to get a number. But that number is going to be one too many because it's going to account for the last space, the space between Robert Smith. So we want to delete that space with a minus one here. So once we have that number, we want to subtract all of the spaces or characters before the middle name. So we do this, minus find space in cell A9. And so what it comes down to is basically 11 minus 5 equals 6. So that's really all that this says. And it's really it's hard to get the first time you see it, but once you work and play around with it a little bit, it becomes pretty clear. Now once you have the formula for the middle name, it's very easy to get the last name. So all you have to do, let me go ahead and copy this here. So once you've correctly entered the formula for the middle name, all you have to do is copy the second and third find formulas here. So after the comma, copy these guys. Go over to this cell equals write this text and the number of characters. Now what we're going to do here 
is we need to find out how many characters up to the second space that is just like we did in the last one but we also need to find out how many characters are in the entire cell and then subtract how many characters are in the cell by how many characters go up to the second space so it's going to be len in this cell to count how many characters are in the cell minus and you can either paste that formula or I'm going to go ahead and retype it find open parentheses quote space end quote comma within this cell here comma and now I want the start number well I want the start number to start after the first space so it's going to count the second space only so another find open parentheses I want to find a space within this cell here and I want it to start counting one character after the first space so plus one then close the parentheses and close it again enter and it returns Smith so that's how you can do a first a middle and a last name and if I take a closer look at the last name it is simply the right function the cell and here we're counting how many characters are in the cell and we're going to subtract the total characters by how many characters it takes to get to the second space and that's how you can get the last name those are the three formulas that you can use to get any first middle last name or any string of text that's in the middle the beginning or the end of a cell and once you have these three already input it's very easy to manipulate them and modify them for your purposes so that's how you can do that now what I'm going to show you real quick here is how you can modify it so let's go ahead and copy this down to here and notice that it works well pretty perfectly so everything even though now it's John J Smith so he has a middle initial with a period after it it's going to separate all of the data correctly because it's separated by spaces now if you separate it by something else that's where you run into issues but they're not hard so let me show you how to fix it so here we have Smith Robert John got last name middle name first name separated by commas so if I copy this in here it's not going to work. All I have to do is to replace the spaces with commas. So let me show you how to do that. Simply double click the cell and wherever you have a find it's always going to have a space because before we were separating by spaces. Simply delete the extra space and put a comma in there. Hit enter and it works. Next, what we're going to do is the middle name. Find all of the spaces, replace those with commas. And what I mean by spaces are in between quotation marks only. Enter, pulls in the middle name. and there you go works perfectly so once you have the basic functions down already uh, you don't have to worry about too much confusion you only have to replace the separators or th you only have to replace like a space with a comma or a comma with a dash or anything of that like that so whatever your text is separated by is what goes between these quotation marks and that's how you can use some advanced text functions to pull in text from the middle, the beginning, or the end of a cell. Now, if you want to get the spreadsheet, simply go to teachexcel.com and all of these formulas will be in there and you can copy and paste them and use them that way or you can follow along with this spreadsheet and uh, do it just like I've been doing it. Also, I did give a mini tutorial on doing part numbers. So there you go.